Priority 4. Make sure we value, involve and support our staff. We have developed staff management policies on bullying and harassment, annual leave, making changes to accommodate disabled staff and homeworking. We spoke to staff equality networks and trade unions about these policies and we set up a regular staff forum. There are also three staff equality networks looking at race equality, disability equality and equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people. These are well established to contribute to our work. Priority 5. Employ a wider range of people, particularly in middle management and senior management positions, through a range of recruitment and development activities. We encourage staff to update their personal information to help us monitor the profile of our staff. But we need more information relating to whether employees are heterosexual, lesbian, gay or bisexual and information about their religious beliefs. We also plan to collect information about employees' caring responsibilities as part of our involvement in the Employers for Carers scheme. It has been difficult to employ a wider range of staff from different groups, such as black and minority ethnic groups. This is because of the freeze on recruitment in the public sector. However, we plan to improve the mix of staff at management level in 2011 and 2012. Priority 6. Find out who is being paid an unfairly low wage and pay them what others are being paid for doing the same job. We carried out an equal pay audit to stop men from being paid more than women who are doing a similar job or more women being employed than men to do a similar job. We will carry out another pay audit in 2011 and 2012. Priority 7. Make sure we train our staff to do their job well and understand their equality and human rights responsibilities. We spoke to all inspectors about equality and human rights as part of their training. We designed tools so that they could follow equality and human rights issues in their job, including tools to help them ask people questions on visits and to spot equality and human rights issues when they are watching how staff work with people in care homes and hospitals. Our communications team provides interpreters and translated materials for inspectors. We now provide online training about the Equality Act 2010 for all staff. We involve staff equality networks when we were developing team-based training about equality and human rights.
our priorities for 2011 to 2012. We have changed our priorities for 2011 to 2012 so that they fit in with our business plan. We have also used these priorities to rearrange our Equality and Human Rights Action Plan. Priority 1 When we register new types of providers for the first time, such as family doctors, we will make sure that we consider equality and human rights. Priority 2 Carry out and evaluate our new way of regulating health and social care, making sure we focus on people's needs and rights. Priority 3. Improve the way we regulate health and social care. Continue to improve our methods and provide our staff with the tools and skills they need to apply consistent and effective judgments that respond to equality and human rights issues. Priority 4. Make sure we look at equality and human rights when we carry out other responsibilities, such as our role in monitoring the rights of people who have been detained under the Mental Health Act. Priority 5. Provide accessible and up-to-date information about care services for everyone, including information on equality and human rights issues. Priority 6. Consider equality and human rights when we plan for changes arising from the Health and Social Care Bill and other changes in health and adult social care. Priority 7. Strengthen our performance in improving equality and human rights by making sure our teams of staff work together more effectively. We will also measure and manage our performance to provide equality and human rights. Priority 8. Make sure our staff feel valued by making sure that our leadership development programme and our agreements with staff about pay and conditions promote equality and human rights. You can contact us by telephone, email or via our website. Or by writing to us. Details to follow.